maybe some figures first. Six out of ten children have access to primary education. Uh, four out of ten don't. Two out of ten only secondary education and only one percent higher education, university or other studies. Um, these figures are extremely low. All over the world, more than six million children uh, are refugee children and only half have access to any schooling at all. We have international uh, obligations. There is a human rights aspect to that. Children have the right to education, so we really need to take this at heart much more than we do. There's of course a couple of barriers in some countries. Um, we don't tend to give good education to refugee children for political reasons. People feel that these children should return and so we don't want to educate them in the normal system because they might want to stay. This is a political thing. Um, and I would dispute that uh, anyhow, if they would stay or return, it's a human right to give these children the right to education, of course. If they have the right to stay, then this education is crucial for their further integration in the country. And Specifically, for instance, the language education, which is also a bit controversial sometimes. They, they speak their own mother tongue, and I think they have the right to do so and to be educated in this mother tongue, but they also need education in the, uh, the, the, the language of the country where they arrive. And of course, many will want to learn English, which is also normal. So there's no reason not to educate them in different languages at the same, at the same time. Another barrier is, of course, the financing of this. Um, it is often financed, uh, this kind of education, from crisis funding, uh, funding that is used for the, the help to refugees. And we should look at it from another angle and uh, integrate this kind of education in the normal educational system. Because then it is structural, it is long term, the quality will be much better. And if they have the right to stay in the country, this will of course favor, favor their integration and their chances to the labor market uh, later on. I would really say that investing in the education for refugee children children is not only a question of human rights, it's also investing in their integration and the future of our, our own countries.